From preschool all the way to grade 12, students at the Calgary French and International School are given an education focused on leadership, academic excellence, and a vibrant literacy program. They've recently celebrated their 50th anniversary. And here to tell us more about the CFIS difference is Amy Murray. Hello, Amy. Hi, Gord. Hey, take a look back for me. How have the past couple of years been like for you and the school? When I consider that we pivoted to entirely remote learning for all of our students, including our three and four year olds, on just a couple of days notice, and how far we've come around our ability to provide high quality remote learning to very young learners, also in a second language setting, I'm so, so proud of the work that we've done. When they're that young age, Amy, are they more adaptable to these kinds of changes as opposed to the kids who have been exposed to maybe the more traditional way of learning? Our really young learners are less familiar with what is school supposed to look like. And so in that sense, they're more flexible around different ways of learning. We have a lot of families where grandparents live overseas. A lot of our little ones are used to interacting with, with their grandparents on FaceTime, and so those were assets to us as we did this transition. We've certainly seen how small the world really is over the past couple of years, and this is where language, I think, comes into play. How crucial is it that our kids be able to communicate in several languages? We know that learning in a second language builds more neural pathways. We also know that it enhances creativity and critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Giving your child the gift of a bilingual or a multilingual education, honestly, it's one of the greatest gifts you can give them. I have a friend who often talks about how she wants to give her kids keys to as many doors as possible in life. And I think giving your child the gift of at least one more, if not multiple languages, is giving them a whole bunch of keys for a whole bunch of doors. Thank you so much, Amy. All the best to you. Thank you so much, Gord. Coming up, we've got more from the Calgary French and International School, as well as tips on how to get your kids involved in a second language. Stay with us. Welcome back to Trending. The Calgary French and International School considers itself as more than a school, it's a community. Joining me now is Tanya Sheely, the principal of the elementary division. Hello, Tanya. Hi, Gord. Hey, let's begin with a reflection on how your students have handled the past couple of years. When you can't see the gesture and body language and the same just facial expressions that you would see while in person, there is a different layer there for sure. But that's where our teachers really looked at what is the most important for our students to know and be able to do at each of their grade levels. And they really focused on those important essential outcomes, language being one of them. What are some of the other core school values at CFIS? We're really proud to be not only a high quality French immersion program, but we are also part of UNESCO. We're part of Round Square. We're part of IB, which is the International Baccalaureate Program. So all these programs bring to them their core values that we instill with our students, such as leadership, having a real focus on uh, international mindedness. So families can already go onto our website, they can book tours even to come and see the school and ask a little bit more about this program. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. Great, thank you, Gord. To get kids involved in a second language at home, a great place to start with is music and television shows. Play them in your home or in the car to familiarize your kids with the language. You'll be amazed at what they pick up, even if mom and dad don't speak it. If you'd like to find out more about the Calgary French and International School and how to get your kids enrolled, visit CFIS.com. 